let's look at a few more settings that um, are important when we're making data data dictionaries for um, line and polygon features. So let's say I'm, I'm making a, a GP, I'm mapping bike trails. Uh, so I'm going to be riding my bike with a GPS on it and mapping a bike trail. Sounds like fun. And then I'm also going to be mapping areas where I'm going to be parking bikes. So I've got both line and polygon features. So I'm going to first create the trail feature here. Trails. It's going to be line. Now for lines, uh, uh, there's a couple settings that are really important. For one, I'm, I'm kind of imagining riding down the trail, and at least right now, the logging interval, every second it's going to collect a point. Well, what if I need to stop at a street section, uh, uh, an intersection, or for some other reason? The GPS unit's going to keep collecting, even though I'm standing in one spot. And later, when I go to edit this, I'm going to end up with uh, a nest of little points in that spot. So for most line or polygon features, I want to switch the logging interval to a distance, but I don't want it to collect another point until I've gone a certain distance. So you can think about the vertices that you'd have in your line feature once you bring it into arc. How dense do I want those points in order to define whatever straight lines or curves? So if I was on a highway, I could probably go um, 5 or 10 meters before I collect a point. On bike trails, I may have some short, sharp tur turns and things like that that I want to make sure I record. So I'm going to move this down to 1 or 2 meters. So, so I, I, it will not collect another point until I move that distance. So that's a usual setting we want to make for line or polygon features. I also have the option of doing an offset. So I may want to um, move the actual line that's recorded to the, to the left or right, or above and below where I'm actually recording. So if I know I'm on bike trails, perhaps, that I'm always going to ride uh, on the right side, but I want to record the middle, I might say that I'm going to have an offset um, to, the, to the left of half a meter. So it's going to take my line and move it over to what I think the middle of the trail is. Of course, it'll have to be pretty consistent riding, um, but that may be better than recording my actual path. Again, I can change the line styles and so forth. But the key thing to make sure you change is this logging interval. Same thing goes for uh, polygon features. So maybe I've got um, bike parking areas. I'm going to switch to area. And I've got a similar option here of the logging interval. Again, it's by default, it's by time, and usually that's not the best default. So I want to switch here and go back to that two meter distance. Actually, I want to make this a little finer every one meter. And I could also do an offset, but I think I'll be able to walk those boundaries uh, exactly, so I'm not going to use that in this case. All right, so a few additional settings for line and polygon features that we'd want to set within TerraSync.